What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Thanks so much for dropping in. Today I got the newer 16 to 35 millimeter lens so I can kind of up the vlog game a little bit. Super excited about that. It is going to kind of bring me into the Christmas spirit, I guess. So, you know, a little Christmas gift early, if you will. And uh, one thing about the Christmas spirit is that, I don't know if you guys get this, but for me, living in an apartment alone in Dubai, I just sometimes feel like there's something in the freaking room with me and it just kind of weirds me out. Maybe like some doors slamming or some cabinets closing, just <sighs> or like, freaking wigs on a stupid broomstick. Like, I don't know, I'm sure you guys get the same stuff too, but anyways, I think that's enough talking for right now. Let's go ahead and just get right into the vlog. Hope you guys enjoy. whenever I got a Korean bike and somebody stole it. So here's the deal. I just... just can't stand the idea of vlogging every single day just for the numbers. Or just to maintain a weekly upload schedule. I just can't do it. So I had two vlog ideas. One that cost a shitload of money and the other one, well, I don't want to ruin it because I still might do it, so just stay tuned for that one. What's more important to me is that I get you guys a good quality vlog. So today, we're going to talk about a little story that I have for you guys. It's about Korean bikes. Let me explain. This is a normal bike. This is a Korean bike. So the way this story starts out is the first thing that I did is I rented a bike from a Korean bike station. Then me and my best friend, we rode from one of the stations to another apartment, another friend's place, to go have some cocktails. It's lit wet, bro. So whenever I got to my friend's place, I took the bikes and actually literally brought them into the elevator, up the elevator, into his apartment. And my friends were like, what the f are you doing? And I was like, yo, so if I leave these bikes outside, someone can steal them. And they laughed at me. They're like, no one's going to steal these bikes, man. Like, it's not going to happen. This is the safest country in the world. And they laughed about it. Next place we went to, we went to a bar. That place, I decided to leave the bike outside. All right, so you see this place right here? This is called Pier 7. And this is where we went to have some drinks. It's an awesome place and it has about like five or six bars inside of one single location, which is really cool and convenient. Great place, love the place, don't have anything negative to say about the establishment. Two hours went by and I decided it was time to go home and I went outside and I was like, what? Yo, where's my bike? I didn't mind if somebody borrowed it, but they never returned it. So I literally just sat there waiting and waiting and waiting and it never showed up. And eventually I was like, you know what? I don't think it's gonna show up. Peace, I'm out. The next day, I received a phone call. Hello? Uh, hello, this is Geppetto with Korean Bikes. Oh. I'm just calling to see when you'll be returning the bike. Oh, uh, yeah, that bike was, uh, stolen. Uh, someone stole your Korean bike? Yeah, that's really weird. I thought it would have been returned by now. Uh, no, sir. Uh, yeah. Does it have a GPS? Uh, no, sir. So we'll have to open a police report. Okay, well, let me know if you need any of my help. Yeah, we'll let you know. Okay, thanks. All right, thanks. About four hours went by and then I got another phone call. Uh, hello, sir. Uh, yeah, we found the bike. It had a broken pedal, but that means we won't charge you anything. Okay. Okay, bye. Perfect. Not only did they find the bike, but if I had to guess, the person that was riding the bike must have wiped out so hard that he broke the pedal on the bike. Feeling defeated in the discomfort of a broken pedal, they just ditched the bike. Are you kidding me? Because... This is where the bike was. And this is where the bike ended up. Right here. So it literally just went around that corner and then all the way to there. And that's where it ended up. I'm guessing someone stole all those bikes. <laughs> 